Hi guys, it's Miriam here today, and I'm going to show you how to make this hot air balloon in one of the three ways I know how to do it. And there will also be two other short videos on how to make it um, on just two pegs and on your hook. So this is the hot air balloon bracelet. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make it um, on the loom where you put the bands down and then you hook it. So yeah, you will need three balloon colors. I am using these three cylindrical colors. I'm using the pink the yellow and the blue um, from the fireworks cylindrical mix and I also have this caramel color yeah caramel color and my white you will also need a hook and a C clip You'll need approximately 10 white and approximately 12 caramel or whatever your basket color is. And then you will need um, around 13 of each band color for your hot air balloon. So let's get started. Um, you only really need one like row of pegs from the rainbow loom. So if you can't like pop it out because you've got a crazy loom or a wonder loom or a luminator or all of those other looms, then you can just leave it the way it is on your loom. So, first, I'm just going to start out by putting one white band like that. So, it's just on these two pegs. Nothing really special about it. Oh, yeah. And quick reminder, you want the little invisible arrows to be facing away from you. The arrows don't like you. Okay. So now you want to get one of each of your hot air balloon colors. That's this part. And just stretch it on those two pegs like that. So there's the white, oh. and then there are your three colors. You want to make sure that your three colors are on top of the white. Next, you just want to do another white and another three colors. And you just want to Continue that pattern until you reach the end of your loom stick thingy. I don't know what to call it. Your loom fraction. So, I'm speeding up now. Oh, and you want to end in a white. That is very important. Ah, I can't grab my bands. I don't know what's wrong. It's impossible to grab these bands. So just continue your pattern until you're done. 
Oh no! My yellow's disappeared. My yellow's disappeared. I need more yellow. I should have been far more prepared. How inconvenient for this video. So, if you end with a colored one, then really you just take it off. <laughs> Now you want to take your basket color and wrap it around. Ugh. Three times. So that you have that triple capped and so one, two, three. Now you just want to put your hook in there and hook it there. So it's like making a normal single almost. Oh, that's right. In order to have the baskets, you can either hook this entire thing and do them in the end or You can wrap a bunch of them around your hook, just like this. You want to have three loops. And then when you hook it, you go in, you grab it. Then just pull it up. I I just messed up my display, don't. Then just slide it over. But that takes a whole lot of time. So I'm just going to do them all at the end after I pull this off. So you just want to keep hooking, keep hooking. It doesn't matter if one of your white ones comes off while you're hooking your three balloon colors. So now you just want to take that final band, peel it off. There. Yeah, so now I have a, a small fraction of it. I just like to stretch it. Ugh, it's so hard to do this on camera without your fingers blocking it. I never realized this. Okay, so then you just want to do the same thing all over again. I'm just going to do this a little shorter. So I'm only going to do like that. Now this time, you want it to end in a colored one. Then you can just put this from your hook on it. <coughs> sorry, sorry, I'm feeling sneezy this morning. <laughs> so then you just go in, and it acts a little like your cap band. 
And you can do this to the end of your loom fraction. Just, I don't want this video to take way too long. So, oh no. There, then just pull it off. Now, just going to take my C clip. Ah, this is so hard. And just grab two. There. Now, as for adding it, adding the little basket bands from the outside, just around, make an X, around, make an X, and then just do it one more time. So you have those three loops. Sometimes it might look a little curly. That's okay. You can just even it out sometimes. Yeah. So they do sort of look like little baby hot air balloons. I think this bracelet is really cute because of that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. And... If you don't want to have to do it uh, on the full length of the balloon, you can watch one of my other videos on how to make a hot air balloon bracelet because there are different ways to make it. Three, to be precise. And this was only one of them. Bye!